G'day, welcome to another quick tip from Shearing World. Today I'm going to look at our tension pins and sleeves and how it affects uh, your, your cut and the way your handpiece runs. So today we've already looked at the tension sleeve and how far that goes down into each handpiece. So we've taken that out of this old one and we've taken the new one out so we can compare. Now this one here, the first thing I look at is the discoloration here. That's sort of like a burning sort of, you can tell that the metal's gotten hot and it's mixed up with some grease and oil and that over the time and rust as well. And it's all come up through the sides of the, of the sleeve and, and stuff. So that's the first sign I look at. Then I'm gonna take the pin out and you can see the color, the color of it. Yuck. And give that a wipe. And we have a look at the shape of the head. Now, that doesn't look real good. For those that don't know, that's not how a pin should look. So if we take it out of the new one, give that a clean, and lay that next to it. Massive difference in the shape of the heads. Okay, this one is absolutely buggered. And I have seen worse, I have seen worse. Not only is this pin buggered though, so is this sleeve. In that sleeve, there's, not that you'll be able to see on camera, but there is a big hole down in the bottom of it. Best way to check is get your pin, put it in and slide it in and you hear it clicking. And it's that bad I can nearly get it to stand up, I can. I can get it to stand up in there. That would never happen with this pin, with a new one. Now I've just got a little drawing as to why the sleeve is so bad as well as the pin. If we have a look at this, the new one, we look at this part here, this is inside your sleeve, so your pin is going up into your sleeve like that. It's sitting on this little, nice little, uh, U shape and it just sits on top of there and spins around and if you look at the new pin and the reason that Heinegger have had shaped theirs this way is less friction so it's a little point less friction uh, meant to you know not get as hot but doesn't matter what you do if you don't look after them properly they will get hot so this is what happens with an old one is the old sleeve gets worn the pins get worn and it's starting to burrow a hole up into the sleeve and you can see the distance here compared to there it's going to wear through eventually if we keep going but i'd say you'd run out of tension before that that'll happen and you won't be able to shear with it anyway so this is very important that we keep an eye on our pins and sleeves make sure they're in good order and obviously all your other parts but that is the main one. That's just a quick tip. You can check, basic, um, but just like anything, Shearing World can send out your parts if you need to replace your parts, or we can do it in house. It's up to you, but if you like the video, leave a comment below, whatever you wanna do, I'm happy. But that's just a quick tip, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.